LDBC. This is your boy Coach Sheldon Harrison. You're live, live, live on the Coach Sheldon Harrison Boxing and MMA Show Live. Let me tell you do something. Let me tell you do something right now, okay? Listen, man. Got to give a shout out to Top Rank, finally, okay? Um, Lomo versus Walters is official, you know, or it, it's signed and it's going to happen. It's going to happen. Um, you know, uh, the one LVZ dropped the video about the fight, broke it down. Uh, the Sweet Science left a comment. You know, shout out to those two brothers. Uh, they left a comment and they pretty much just talked about, you know, the fight is on. Okay, this is good. Because, see, for a while I was getting a little, you know, I was I was really becoming just disheartened by boxing. I just was. I, it's, it really is kind of hard to just really get up something to talk about and to get excited. It's just hard. Even when I go, you're live, live, live on the coach show in here. See, you know, couldn't really get excited about that. Now, when I was talking about women's MMA, yeah, it was getting exciting because there's more stuff happening for me in the women's MMA department. It just is, okay? And, you know, I got a couple more fighters, man, that actually want to interview me, women's MMA fighters. And, you know, it's starting to pick up in that area, man. And the interviews are happening. Like, people want them so much, man. It just takes a lot of time. And I have to give a shout-out to the ladies that allow me to interview them because it does take a lot of time, especially when I make the intro videos. And... I like making the intro videos because it makes the fighter, you know, really feel like that there is them, you know, and, you know, the intro videos take most of the time because I like to let my full creativity show. So, yeah, that's what's going on. So hopefully, you know, <laughs> I'm hoping everybody like this Darius King Irvin intro. I hope I hope a lot of people like it, man, because, man, I'm putting a lot. I'm putting more time into his because it's personal. But anyway, guys, let's talk about this fight. Let's, let's really, really talk about this fight. Okay. I I think Lomachenko, and I'm a fan of Lomachenko, so yes and no. I'm going to go. I'm going to say Lomo will win. I think it's a 50-50 fight, but I think Lomo, if the, and this is what I'm saying. If the fight would go 12 rounds, I don't think Nicholas Walters would get a decision against Lomachenko. I think this is a 50-50 fight, straight up. This is a this is a 50-50 fight. I think Lomachenko will outpoint Nicholas Walters on points, okay? I think Nicholas Walters will probably land a more clean, effective punches, but I like Lomachenko's style. I've always been a fan of the slick style. I always have. And, you know, he's a slick fighter. Um, Lomo won't stay in the pocket very long, and he better not do that against Nicholas Walters because if he stays in the pocket, he's going he gonna to get himself knocked out. That's just the way that is. He, he's going he's going to get himself knocked unconscious. If he stays in that pocket with Nicholas Walters, you can't do it. Um, Lomo, I think, is faster than Walters, but I think Walters has very underrated speed. I think he's fast enough, and he's fast enough to catch Walters, okay? And he's no slug. Walters not flat-footed. So it's going to be a good fight. I just think Lomo is going to win, definitely try to outpoint him, and I think he is going to outpoint Nicholas Walters. Um, for Lomo to win the fight, he's going to have to. He's got to keep this fight primarily in the center of the ring. If he gets against the ropes, it's all she wrote. Because Nicholas Walters is a, a madman on them ropes. I'm talking about when he gets you on them ropes and he starts hitting you with them body shots, you can see why he get his name. And Lomo, if, if he ever, if he gets on those ropes, it's, it's a wrap. Nicholas Walters is going to get him up out of there. If he can keep the fight in the center of the ring, if he can, you know, keep slipping, ducking you know getting out of the way stepping back out of punches he's got a really good chance of defeating nicholas walters in my opinion i, I think lomo can can win the fight i think he's got the skill set to do it and i think he's grown a lot since orlando salito when he had that first loss i think he's grown a lot he's definitely made a lot of adjustments in his game and i see some different things in this game you know i see a lot of different things i see his jab is looking much more effective it's more crisp you know like when he fought salito I didn't think his jab was that crisp. You know, he wasn't like snapping a jab. You know, he wasn't popping that jab out there, getting it in Salido's face good enough. Now, you know, in his fights after the Salido fight, he's been working. And Lomo, this is a fight that he really wanted. I mean, he's been very vocal about this fight. Um, you know, Nicholas Walters, I guess he's been vocal about this fight. But I think Lomo has been a bit more vocal about this particular fight. He really wants this fight. And if Lomo can actually decisively beat, decisively beat Nicholas Walters, then, you know, his, his resume is going to be, you know, he's pretty much going to start having that great resume. Um, you know, when he beat Gary Russell Jr., that was a solid win. It was a solid win, 
And definitely, I, you know, I can't take nothing away from him. He beat Gary Russell Jr., you know, soundly. And I'm a Gary Russell Jr. fan, and I was pulling for Russell Jr. to win that fight. But, I mean, Lomo, to me, just won it. I think he won soundly. Um, I think he learned a lot when he lost to Salito. I think he did. And um, I think he utilized some of his new training skill sets when he fought Gary Russell Jr. Um, Nicholas Walters is a completely different kind of fighter. He's not going to try to step back. He's not going to try to, you know, he's not going to try to, you know, sit back and just play defense with you. Nicholas Walters is going to come in, okay? He's going to come straight ahead. But Nicholas Walters is a good forward, come straight ahead fighter. He's great because he's slipping punches while he's coming straight ahead at you. So it's not like he's not defensive at all. But Nicholas Walters is an offensive machine. And his offense sometimes becomes his defense. Like, the dude will throw so many crazy punches that you not going to throw a punch back to interrupt this combination because you might get hit with something. And Lomachenko, if he gets on the ropes, anytime he's on the ropes, he's in trouble. I'm telling y'all now, you heard it first. But if, if Nicholas Walters lets Lomachenko pick him apart from the center of the ring, he in trouble. But I'm going with Lomo on this one. Um... You know, yeah, because I like the fighting style. I like both their styles, but I'm more really a fan. And I've always been a fan of just that slick style. I've been a fan. I don't care who doing it. I've just been a fan of that. Like, I'm intrigued by it. And, you know, I wonder why these guys are so defensively sound. It's like, defense is an art. It really is an art. There's an art. There's a really craft to just dodging punches and slipping punches and rolling punches and catching punches. There's an art to that, man. And not everybody has that skill set. So, you know, yeah, I'm going with Lomachenko because I think the defense is going to, you know, do do what it does. And it's going to, you know, propel him to win this fight. Uh, but we'll see. We'll see when the fight, you know, really gets made. I'm going to sit down and make a power chart. And I'm going to break it down, you know, attribute by attribute. And then we'll see. We'll see what happens. But, guys, good. Something finally happening in the sport of boxing that we can just, man, this is good. All right, I'll be looking at a lot of y'all videos. This is your boy, Coach Shelton Harrison. What do you do is waiting on. Subscribe. I'm done.